Well guys, we have now transitioned over to David Lane's V-band measurements of Tabby Star since the other observatories around the world can no longer accurately view and measure the star's flux levels. So we will briefly go over David Lane's data set of Tabby Star and take you through a short history of where the star's flux has gone in the last 27 months and also bring you up to date on where the flux was this past week. And we will also shift back from a 20 data point simple moving average to a less variable 25 data point simple moving average to better track the long-term light trend of Tabby Star. So this is a scatter plot of the V-band measurements that David Lane has taken of Tabby Star over a time period from October 27, 2015 to January 10, 2018. So this is approximately 27 months of data represented here. And each light blue circle here represents a single V-band measurement. And these measurements were taken from the Burke Gaffney Observatory, which is located in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. And this observatory is far enough up north near the pole that David can get clear measurements of Tabby Star this time of year when others cannot, provided, of course, that the weather cooperates. So we are very fortunate to have his data to continue to monitor this star. Since we need a full 25 data points to start the simple moving average, let's go ahead and initially focus in on the data points that are enclosed by the red box. And when this channel first started looking at Tabby Star back in May of 2017, last year, this was the 25 data point simple moving average we were evaluating at that time. And we were certain at that time that the best fit curve of this long-term trend of Tabby Star, which is denoted by the simple moving average curve, was an accelerating long-term dimming curve, which we extrapolated and is shown here. And as time went on, the simple moving average was following very closely to our extrapolated accelerating long-term dimming curve, as you can see. But then on September 12th of 2017, we came to the conclusion that the flux of Tabby Star was starting to go off the rails with an unexpected brightening of Tabby Star. The measurements circled in red were showing a definite brightening of the star, and the resulting 25 data point simple moving average is shown here. It appears that we took a detour from our accelerating long-term dimming curve, shown with the blue best fit curve. And it is still to be seen if this is a temporary brightening, and perhaps we will begin to continue the long-term dimming, or perhaps the star will follow some other completely unexpected curve. So for the period shown on this light curve, the star dimmed an average of 3.54% between May of 2016 to September of 2017, a total of 16 months. And then it abruptly brightened approximately 1% from September 2017 to November, a total of two months. As you can see, we are now headed down with a slope similar to that of the previous dimming curve. So we have two new data points from David Lane to add to this light curve. So let's zoom in on the last four months of the long-term light curve of Tabby Star, which incorporates both the brightening event as well as the recovering dimming event. So this is the status of the V-band long-term light curve on January 2nd, and this is his measurement on January 7th, and another one on January 10th. And this is the best fit curve for the long-term dimming profile over the last four months. As you can see, we are continuing to dim in the V-band, and also notice that the last data point is not shown on this light curve. The reason it is not showing is that it is well below the bounds of this light curve. So let's zoom back out and take a look at where this data point landed. As you can see now, the data point on January 10th was way down. As a matter of fact, it is the lowest V-band measurement that has been taken since we have been keeping records of David Lane's data measurements. It will be interesting to see if this is the new normal or if we are starting to go into another short-term dimming event. Well, guys, we will end now. Hopefully, the weather will be better and we will get more data next week. Anyway, take care and we will see you in our next video update.